I don't understand how it could be so sunny yet so bitterly cold. Well, it doesn't matter because uh, this evening we've got third floor gallery. David Solomon is uh, exhibiting his new works uh, up west, I think it's called, so we'll be checking that out. But meanwhile, today I'm back at uni again and I've got loads and loads and loads to print. Plus, we've got a couple of visiting lectures today, which I'll be checking out as well. So I haven't got the full day to print, uh, just half of it. Also, a um, tutorial with Magali as well, which uh, will last about 10 minutes, I should think. So I can't stop. Time to get on. <laughs> right, so I was, I was having problems doing these prints because it's really hard to isolate the images and I'd get like dark patches here and there where I'm trying to do it so I made this dodge tool <laughs> <laughs> to get it right you see it looks like a space rocket but it's or actually Lloyd's penis. <laughs> <You're> Lloyd's penis <laughs> but it's it's uh, not bad and uh, I'm able to isolate properly with it so yeah hardcore just taking another short break because I've got a tutorial with Magali now up in her office. Bev and Gemma should be up there already actually because I think theirs were two before me. I've got the chairs. Ooh, quiet, you third year, you'll soon to leave. No one cares. <laughs> Such a busy day today. Uh, the tutorial with Magali went really, really well. Uh, we've had a visiting lecture by some print people showing us how to do prints and stuff, uh, who work on Spy Island. That was really interesting. Now we've got a visiting lecture coming up, the Thursday one. We've still got prints to do. I've got so many to get done. And we've got another lecture at four o'clock, uh, a guy from the, graduating from the RCA to do. Uh, and then tonight we've got the third floor gallery. Oh, it's such a hectic day. Almost forgetting to video. <laughs> right, back to it. So you know which one you do it then? Yeah. I forgot what you're talking about, she's dead. Right. Shit. done like three more prints and it's finally going well and now we're going upstairs to see an RCA graduate, Royal College of Arts in London, graduate and master's course of photo art. So that's hopefully going to be quite interesting. It's quite busy in here actually. That's him there. <laughs> Here comes Cara's print. Who's that, Cara? Who is it? Emily. Hi, Emily. I don't think she'd be too pleased if you put that on there. Still here. Why haven't we gone home yet? Don't know. So, we're going to Third Floor Gallery once we've finished here. But I'm not even finished yet. Via food. But food first. What are we getting? McDonald's? What are we getting? I don't know. I don't know. I don't eat meat. Okay, you can just, you can have the KF, you can, you can have the KF. KF. What's that? Is that one of your women? <laughs> this is all my product photography so far. 15 altogether. I'm going to have to do one or two again because as you can see there's grey bits around here, grey bits around that so they're not completely done. But others look absolutely perfect. I'm going out into the other dark room. Hi Amy. What? Hello new girl. <laughs> Guess he's waiting for me again. Yeah, last one in here. Running on a bit. Wow. So this is what it looks like in the light.
just getting back to uh, Opal One now, where Bev and Gemma are going to put some noodles and pizza on because it's the quickest thing to eat. And then we're going to rush straight back out to the third floor gallery for the opening of David Solomon's exhibition. I don't remember a day where I've had more packed in and more busier than today, actually. And it's still not over. Oh, looking forward to this exhibition, though, if uh, Bev can afford the petrol, that is, because petrol's running really short at the moment and the loan didn't come in this morning that we'd all expected. Hmm. Yay, dinner, noodles and pizza. Here at Jim Shadow. We're off to, uh, off to third floor gallery now. Today has been so busy. And rattle your bones for the times they are a changing. There's Bev. Putting in her money again. We're here. Hey. This is all the free beer that people are missing out on. <laughs> they need to come here and get all that beer. Well, give tips anyway. I have to say it's a really, really amazing uh, collection of pictures. I think it was taken over 10 years by David Solomon. And uh, it really shows because these sort of uh, images that he's captured don't come around every five minutes or once a day or once a month. They're like, most of them are once in a lifetime shots and so it's really impressive. Really struggling to find a favourite picture in here. There's, there's probably not one that stands head and shoulders above the rest. There, there's so many really, really good ones though, so I'm just going to show you a few, actually. The first I wanted to show you is this one of a chef or something. He's got this light reflected in the window. Uh, and I th it's something I would have passed by, I think. But he, he told me he shot this in one second. Moving on, uh, you've got this really powerful shot of this, this portrait. A man walking straight towards him. He's taken with a telephoto lens. I think you can sort of tell that, the way it's compressed. Uh, but it's a really powerful image. And move on to the, the highlight of the show basically is this woman who sat there in Soho uh, and surrounded by these gay guys and you can tell they're gay because their gaze looks away from the girl who sat there, this beautiful woman uh, just sat there in the middle of the street where a different place it would be very <laughs> Oh yeah, we got I love London as well. Outside for some uh, peace because it is hectic in there, really busy. And just going to finish up the video and upload it now so I can get it done before 12 o'clock. But thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll speak to you tomorrow. We should be back here tomorrow because we're volunteering again. But I am exhausted. I need to sleep. See you later. It's day 66 of 365. I'm going to bed when I get home. Bye.